Next up is a true visionary who's been uh, here for years now, uh, Phil Libin, founder of Evernote. Phil, glad to have you back. Wow, awesome to be here. Thank you. Yeah, you see, we have a few friends for you here. <laughs> that is amazing. This Today. is the highest production value I've ever seen. Oh, thank so, you. So really, uh, really great. Actually, uh, we have a, a very big uh, news that just happened uh, a few minutes ago. A few minutes that ago? We're, that we are announcing for the first time in the world right now. Uh, Wonderful. Uh, on stage. I can't wait to hear about it. You have, and you have, well, now uh, you, you tell me what I do. Well, uh, do you want, you have, oh, you have a special guest. We do. Can we introduce uh, Paul Francois, the chief product officer for Orange? In Paul France. Francois Fournier. Welcome. We like news. <laughs> Thank you. Bienvenue, Paul Thank Francois. You. Thank you very Can much. Can you speak in French? Can we do it in French? No, sorry. Okay, what's it? What, now, now we got. I the thought excited. this was the web policy. Was everything was everything was English? Everything was English and news now. Uh -huh. Yes. What's the big news? Tell us about it. Shall I start? Yeah. Start? So we are very pleased. Uh, you know, we, we met with Phil one years ago, and really we we find Evernote. Uh, I would say a great product. It's no, addictive. But, 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 yeah. What is Orange? Oh, Orange. <laughs> a little startup, right? Yeah, it's a little startup, you know, uh, making <laughs> an interesting business about uh, providing uh, uh, on day-to-day -day basis access and services to uh, more than 200 customers, mostly in Europe and Africa. So a big uh, deal here that you're, you yeah, guys are yeah. working together. Well, and we Sorry, met at the going. web last you... year, so we started the relationship uh, here a year ago. Yeah, wow, okay. and we met with Phil last year, and okay. Evernote was, you know, addictive, multi-platform, cool, and we said, yes, we need uh, to offer to... Uh, our customer are part of uh, Evernote memory, so we want Evernote to be part of Orange uh, uh, memory uh, customers. So we decided to partner, uh, and uh, then we are very pleased to announce that uh, by spring 2012, uh, all Orange customers in France will get access to Evernote Premium uh, in their bundle for free, Wait, for, free? for one year. Yeah, right. and uh, clearly we want to expand this partnership across uh, across Europe. I think it's you know the kind of commitment that we have in front of our customer is to provide the best services for, uh, I would say, the memory and the cloud, it's, it's clearly Evernote. We have a, a big partnership with Deezer, uh, and we are building a big partnership with Dailymotion, so clearly offer, be open-minded to uh, all those uh, new uh, uh, services uh, and, and help our customers to, uh, to adopt them. And, and Paul Francois, you see uh, all this room is packed with entrepreneurs and also watching here online. What is, how do I partner with, uh, how do I do that with my start, like their startup? Like how do I do like you did with Evernote? Because this is going to be, I think for Deezer it worked pretty well if I hear well. Yeah, 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 it's, it's an amazing success. <laughs> you got a few customers for yeah, 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 we were speaking about So they, they, they can talk to you? Yeah, of course, uh, I mean, you know. Can you give your email address and yeah, mobile phone? Yeah, we can do that. I will have uh, uh, hopefully uh, millions of uh, mail address. No, I think it's part of, uh, I would say, the transformation on innovation that we want to, to have. Clearly, uh, we want to be more open-minded. We feel that innovation is about partnership. Uh, uh, and then we are building and transforming the company uh, to, uh, let's say, uh, again, uh, offer to our customer the best of the services. Sometimes we hope that will be Orange uh, services, but clearly there are so many great services, so many great brands that are building that we are uh, uh, very happy to, to make Orange customer ease access to, uh, to those brands. This is great. If you want to partner with Orange, you can stop by their uh, partner lounge, their, their booth. <laughs> so our, our first partnership in Europe? And uh, the first time, uh, Evernote Premium for free for all Orange customers for a year. So I am super psyched. Thank you. Thank That's you cool. So Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Paul Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank Thank you. Right Sorry. Thank you. you want to? Have a good Great. day. Great. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Uh, when is it? When, when is it available? Uh, by, when, spring. When? by spring. By spring or 12. Spring. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Have you, a Paul good day. Thank you. Please feel. Thank you. Welcome again. How Sorry. are you? Yeah, we'll share this. Um, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Um, it's always a great honor and pleasure to have you here. It's uh, it's it's really um, one of my favorite things to do. And you've done um, you've also done uh, Docomo, right? Uh, yes, we have a, we had a deal with uh, with Docomo in Japan. Yeah, uh, that was our very first carrier deal, and then uh, Orange is uh, the first one uh, outside of Japan, actually. Um, and we're you know we've been on this path. We've been talking about wanting to be a hundred year company. Yes. Uh, for Evernote, and of course, Orange, I think, is a 200-year company. Uh, so it's, uh, it only makes sense that we're working together. Phil, I, I have a slide up for you. With, uh, ah. What is that about? <laughs> well, we've had a, we've had a nice week. Uh, we were actually just named uh, Inc. Magazine Company of the Year. 
which was uh, pretty amazing. Uh, I was pretty, pretty pretty surprised and pretty shocked. <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, it was actually completely. Any any ever not user in the room? <laughs> can we can we get that on camera, Sabine? If you can show the room, yes. Keep keep. Yeah, I don't think there is every, any person that doesn't use it. It looks like. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, you know, we knew that they were writing an article, um, but we had no idea that it was. Um, we had no idea what it was. We had no idea it was going to be on the cover. That it was going to be company of the year. And the first time I saw it was literally when I was I was at the airport a couple of days ago. And I had this completely surreal experience of walking through the airport and seeing our picture in the newsstands. It was. Uh, it must be quite uh, it, it was. Uh, it was very, very strange. Uh, it's something that I don't think I'll ever get used to. But, wow! Uh, it's a, a, a giant honor. So we're very happy. Congratulations, Phil. <laughs> Thank you so is, is much. There, so there's a tradition that you started and I'm using for all the speakers now okay. as a reference because you're the you're the company I know that is sharing the most with the audience at the web. Um, in terms of numbers, in terms of, you know, Eric Schmidt yesterday was telling me, just ask any question, you know, anything you want. And Phil is like, let's just share any number, right? Yeah. Anything you want, well, which is very rare. People are just always shy about numbers. So, well, I think, you know, our, what we're trying to do at Evernote is we, we ask people to trust us with their whole lives. You know, we want to be the, your trusted lifetime memory. And I think the only way to build that trust is to be really transparent and, and reciprocate. So you know, we, we, we have to explain how everything works. We want to make sure that people understand what the technology is, what the numbers are, that we are transparent. So we, we try very hard to do that. So do, do you have um, some you know, of those numbers to share? Sure. Again so, this year? So um, you know, last year, uh, when, I, when we talked uh, here, I think we had about 5 million users. And uh, now we have, uh, we have 20. Um, so we have. Uh, We've quadrupled in size in a year, which is uh, which is a lot of fun. Is that registered? Yep, that's that's uh, total uh, users, um, and but of course the big question is well, what, you know, how do they how do they work? How do they behave? And and um, uh, last year I was here, I, I, I accidentally had the proprietary and confidential yes, uh, I board remember slides. That. Do, do you have others proprietary and confidential too? Uh, yes, please keep these very quiet. <laughs> right. Um, so the question is, is how do these users behave? So we did some analysis. When, when did you start Evernote again? Well, we launched the service in, in 2008, uh, in the summer of 2008. Uh, it, was actually, uh, the, the, it was actually two companies that came together in 07 to, to build it, and we relaunched in, in 08. And so it's about 20 million users in about three and a half years, uh, purely organically, so no, no I advertising. I couldn't live without it myself. It's, uh, you, get, you get all my brain. Thank you. Keep, keep going. You have, uh, um, I think, more. Wow. So this is, uh, this is my favorite chart to kind of explain how, how the numbers work for Evernote. So this shows the the percentage of return users uh, by, by cohort age, by how old they are per month. So basically it shows uh, in the first month how many people come back after registering in the second month and the third month and so on, all the way up to about three and a half years, which is all the data we have. And um, what we used to see is we, there was this big drop off in the beginning. So you know, a lot of people don't come back after the first month or so. Um, but then once they've used Evernote for a month or two, uh, it's, it's very flat. Like once you've used Evernote for about a month, uh, you never leave. Once you kind of understand it, it becomes addictive. But then what we really started seeing recently is it, it actually swings back up. So it's, now it kind of looks like a smile. So this, after, this after, after 27 months. Yeah, after about two years, a little bit more, it actually starts, it actually starts going up. So people actually because, start Because they back. have all their brain in Evernote. That's and right. so you become dependent, which is my case. Yeah, so people, people, people that leave kind of miss it, uh, and, and, and they come back. And so you have this graph that it, it used to be a smirk. It used to just kind of go you know, down and then flat. And now it's a smile. And uh, it makes me really happy, because I like showing board members uh, graphs that look like smiles. Uh, uh, it works <laughs> and, really and well. Uh, before you move on, uh, I, I think you, you will have a demo later as well, right? Yeah, we've got a couple because of new right apps uh, that we just launched. Actually, I don't know. It's, it's somewhere okay. here, okay. but yeah. Okay. Sabine, where is uh, Phil's uh, iPhone? It's right there. I see. I can see it. Ah, apparently. Great. Okay. Well, keep going. I'll I'll grab your iPhone. And then um, um, this is the whole freemium model. So Evernote is you know is freemium. Um, so we and we really emphasize the free portion of it. I think a lot of companies when they do freemium, they emphasize the the emium part, and I think we emphasize the free part. So the the main version of Evernote is the free version. Uh, we want people using it for free. And we never put any pressure uh, to convert. We don't have any salespeople. We don't so if I read really this bother well, you. Babies don't use Evernote much, but 40 years old, a lot. <laughs> Close, that's right. Uh, in the first month uh, of using Evernote, about one half of 1% of our users pay us. So the first month that you sign up, only about one half of 1% pay. 
and, but it goes up every month after that. So after our oldest users, the ones that have been with us for about three and a half years, uh, more than 20% of them are, are currently paying. So the, there's this buildup of long-term value. The longer you use it, the more you love it. And what we found out is if you, if you never ask someone to pay, if you just give them time to fall in love, then, then they want to pay. They, 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 want, to give, they it, want to find it's reasons just that to pay you. When you have all my life, I'd you know, better be safe. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, well, but I understand it. And the web is run on Evernote, by the way, all my, you know. Well, that's, that's amazing. This is probably the most impressive thing run on Evernote in that, in oh, that come case. On. So that's, that's very impressive. So, that, so these two graphs, the, the, the fact that people, uh, people come back. How many premium users do you have? We have about 750,000 premium users. So 20 million, that's another number you just disclosed, by the way. Uh-oh. <laughs> yes, yes. So 20 million so users, 750,000 paid. Yeah. How much do they pay again? Uh, it's $5 a month or $45 a year, and there's, you know, depending on how you pay, there's some discounts. So. And you don't disclose your revenue, right? Uh, no, and it's impossible to multiply those numbers together, so. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. But, uh, so but you're break-even. Uh, well, we, we actually got the company to profitability about six months ago, and then we, did, we raised a lot more money. Uh, we took another uh, $50 million from Sequoia so we could just hire so quickly. So we, we put together new studios, and now we're hiring as fast as possible. So we're back in the red because we're hiring so fast. Uh, but the goal is to, uh, to basically grow as quickly as we can, and then we can, we can go back into profitability within a couple of months. We just have to stop hiring everyone yeah, you can. Should, yeah, you, you should grow as fast as you can, obviously. I think at this point, I think the, the, the you know, the, now that we have the unit economics working, basically this graph shows that the unit economics work. The longer you use it, the, the more likely you are to pay. As long as this holds up, and we just look at this every week, yeah. as long as this holds up, it just makes sense to add. So you to grow just throw more possible. investment. So how do you do it? You, you, you have um, a team in Japan, a team in Europe now as well? Yeah, well, we have a, we have a, a team in California. We opened up a studio in Austin, uh, Texas. We have a team in Japan. We have a team in Russia. We're about to open up our first office uh, in, in Europe, in, in Zurich. But I was about to say the president asked you yesterday if it would be Paris, but it, it <laughs> absolutely could be. <laughs> now that he asked, that was I an think, interesting meeting yesterday. To, yeah, <laughs> um, many m many of my first time ever experiences happen with you and at Web. Come on, so and then you have you have some hours to to show. Uh, uh, yeah, yes, two uh, new uh, new applications that we just launched at Web uh, yesterday. Wow, I can't wait to see that. So, so Evernote food. Yeah, we have Evernote food go. and Evernote just be hello. With a wire. All yeah. right. So I don't know if you guys can, can see with my phone. Can we put Phil's phone up? Here we go. Great. It's right there. Um, so the idea behind uh, Evernote food is um, um, food is one of the things that, that I'm personally always uh, capturing in Evernote. Um, food is a, one of the most important things about my life. It's kind of my core competency is, is eating. Uh, so Evernote food is meant to be this really simple, really beautiful way to just capture your food experiences in Evernote, but, but with a dedicated food-centric view. But it's a different app. It's a different app. Why do you do a different app and not add it to the current app? That's well, interesting. You know, I think our strategy on, on mobile is that the mobile apps need to be really simple and really direct. It's almost like the app icon and the name is the manual. Like You should be able to figure out what you do with the app just from looking at the icon and, and reading the name. That's, that's the goal. So on, on mobile, we want really, really straightforward, really simple, really elegant apps. Uh, I think you reach diminishing returns very quickly of just putting an extra button you know, inside, of, mm. inside of your app. Uh, but on desktop, since we're on every, every mobile platform and every desktop platform, on desktop, I think it can be a lot more powerful. So our idea is to have a, a unified experience on the desktop, uh, but on mobile to have you know, really direct, really simple apps. But since it's Evernote, they all sync together to the same place. It's all the same cloud. Yeah, it's all the same cloud. And you can, anything that you capture in Evernote food, you can see in Evernote and, and, and vice versa. Show me. Uh, so the idea is um, you just uh, take pictures of, of, of things that, uh, uh, that you eat, and you have your, your really beautiful record of a, of a meal. So here's a meal I had a few days ago. Uh, you can take pictures, you can, uh, you can, you can take notes, you can, can caption. Can you share it too? Absolutely, yeah, you can share anything on, uh, on Twitter or Facebook or, or email. So you're getting in someone else's space here. Well, you know, there our... Is, so there is Kevin Rose with Wink, Wink, uh, I Wink, think... or Ink. <laughs> our main goal is Evernote is really private, it's really for you. So 
the sharing components are always there. If you choose to share it, you make it easy to do so. But it's really to capture things for your own for memory. You. Right. So it's not like our food spotting as well. Right. And it's really meant to kind of relive the, the whole food experience. So it's the, it's the food, it's the people you're with. This is our uh, vice president of business development. He's probably uh, very Alex. happy you're putting his pictures like yeah. that um, picture. That is a crab. That is a mixture of a crab with a sake uh, in there. So. Which you're supposed to eat with your nose. Yes, you're okay. supposed to eat with your nose, exactly. <laughs> Um, and um, everything in the meal, so you can, you can kind of see all of the pictures this way, uh, it automatically captures the restaurant, you can have tags, um, and uh, at the end it shows you all of your related notes from Evernote. So it shows you the people that were there, any notes you have, any reviews you have. Oh, so you're connecting the other cloud now. Right, everything ties together. So if, if I say dinner with Phil Libin and I put the food, it's going to show, right, show, show everything, everything varies in my cloud. Absolutely. Whatever. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Because we think that's how people remember things. And the, the second app is a very similar I, idea. Yeah, I told you about that need I had is that um, when I meet someone, I'd like an Evernote of people, basically. Right. Exactly. And so you look like you've done that, right? Yeah, so Evernote Hello is, uh, is this app here. And uh, it's, a, it's the same kind of idea. It's, yes. a, it's a pretty different. It's uh, a pretty cool picture you have up there. Yeah, these are people that I've been meeting uh, recently. Um, so. Yeah, that's that's uh, Nicholas, and uh, and you can see uh, you can see the record. So uh, so we met, and you can see kind of where we met. You see the, the Google uh, the Google image or, or the map that you can uh, that you can toggle. Um, I guess I'm yeah, of course, off the right. network here. Yeah, uh, and it shows any of the related notes and people. In fact, I see uh, related people. Uh, it's uh, it's you guys. So now you're forever associated uh, 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 together. S switch to something else, please. <laughs> okay, cool. And so. Uh, so the idea is when you meet someone, um, you, uh, you just hit new person. If, if they're already s scheduled, you can do it right from the, yeah, there we go. Here's Alexia. Ah, ah Alexia. Alexia. Yes. Um, uh, this will, the pictures will animate in a little bit. So the idea is to give you a little bit of, of texture. Oh. What, what we really thought of as we thought. Do that again. <laughs> the Alexia picture will be. I didn't know I was going to put it up either. It's all, it's all him. No, but make, make Alexia move again. Uh, that is beyond my power. That's... <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> That's cool. The you know, idea is I've thought... lost a friend. <laughs> Alexia is really upset now at me. So, <laughs> so tell me, uh, so how does it help my brain remember someone I meet? And, and you, you know that... Uh, feeling that you're in front of someone and like, oops, who are you? Exactly. Yet never happens to you, right? Well, it happens, yeah, all the time. And that's why, so Evernote, this is basically the secret. So Evernote is built for me. Like, I am the target user of everything that, that we do. We, we build it for, for us, but really, really, we build it for me. And I have a huge problem remembering people. Um, and so, <laughs> so whenever you meet Phil, well, don't and, be surprised. And, and the contact list doesn't work for me, because for some reason, like address books, they're alphabetical because it's like that idea is hundreds of years old. Yes. And so, but you, you, you don't remember people alphabetically. Your brain doesn't work alphabetically, right? You remember people based on three things. It's, you know, what do they look like? What's their face? Where, when did you meet them? And, and the context, you know, where were you? Who were they with? What did you talk about? And so this is a way to give you a very visual, you know, what do they look like? It's very face centric uh, and all of the context around it. So for example, if I go to a, to a restaurant and uh, I use Evernote food to take pictures of the food and I meet you and I use Evernote hello to capture you and then we have a great idea so I take out Evernote and I take up some notes, all of those things are together. And if I find one, I find all three um, automatically in, in any of the apps. And it will bring all the context around that person to me. Yeah. And I can, are, you, uh, are you adding like social context to, context to like, like LinkedIn bio and... You know, things coming from the outside. I like yeah. that. Like, so I see you, and I, I see your bio, and I see yeah, your Wikipedia. Is, your that's very much part of the of the next step. So uh, the the first version, this is 1.0. We really want to get the interactions right. Um, you know, this is a uh, it'll be go through a period of very rapid development, very rapid improvement. But the idea is very much you you see someone, you take a picture, or you ask them to take their own picture. That's actually um, one of the cool things about the app is when you meet someone, you can put in the information yourself, or you can actually ask them to do it. Um, and then if they take their own picture, uh, the, the camera will actually uh, make you get a good picture. Oh. And it takes four pictures, so it can animate it. <laughs> um, 
Oh, and that's what you need to. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And, now and I get it. it. And it uses the gyroscope, so you actually so you actually get a good shot. So and, you can uh, do these as well. Yeah. Uh, and when you when you give someone the phone and take their own picture, you actually get much smileier pictures uh, rather than you doing it. Uh, and if, as soon as you fill out this information, that person will automatically get your contact info. So it's like if you've captured their info, you, uh, this app will email in your info. So, so, both so, people so I remember. meet you, I don't know you, I take a picture together. Then I add your email, yeah. I save it, it will email you as well. Exactly. Yeah, so now you both have that, that record. Um, this is cool. And in, 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 the, in the next version, you'll be able to do, uh, you'll be able to do a LinkedIn and Facebook and update. You know, so when, you see, when I see someone, I can see, oh, you've, you've been promoted or something like that. Uh, all of that stuff is, is coming. Uh, but right now, you can capture the contact info. You can take business cards. You can take whiteboards, food you ate, and everything relates together. That's very impressive. Can we get that right now? Is that on? Uh, on? Yeah, both of these are available. They're both free. They're on the, the App, App Store. Store. Uh, uh, it's, it's iPhone iPh and Android? iPhone right now. Android is coming really soon. So tell me about that. So you start with iPhone still, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, no, not, not for everything. We have um, uh, Chris Capostella from Microsoft up next. Like, are you doing Windows Phone 7 as yeah, well? Yeah, we, we have. So we support every platform. Uh, yeah, we have a great Windows Phone 7 app that we actually just updated last week, which is oh, okay. really nice. Chris will be happy. Um, we have a great Android app. And, and some apps we start on Android, so Skitch. You know, we released Skitch on Android first. And that's actually had 3 million downloads in just, uh, just in the past couple of months on Android. And it's not out on iOS yet, but we're, we're working on it. So that'll be on iOS soon. Yeah, it lets you. Uh, sketch. Yeah, it lets you. It lets you. Um, uh, it lets you draw attention to you things. Grab anything, and you can add. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. basically about pointing at things. It's like uh, what we're trying to do is recapture the moment when, uh, let's say, like the two of us are, you know, we're pirates and we crash landed on a beach, you know, 500 years ago, and I've got a sharp stick, and I'm saying, okay, we're going to go here, and we're going to attack these people, and you think it's a bad idea, so you grab the stick away and you stomp it out, and you say, no, no, we're going to go around here, and we're going to get these fish this way. That kind of visual communication with a pointy stick is like that's how people have been getting things done for yes. thousands of years, and we want to go back to that with Sketch. It's like we think the way small groups get things together accomplished is a sharp stick or an iPad, and very visually saying we'll do this, move this two pixels here, hang this up here, go the, go this way, and that's that's what Sketch is. We're unfortunately out of time, but I'd like you to explain where where you're going. What's the grand vision? Because you have uh, three, four apps now. Uh, more, yeah. We have. We just we released clearly uh, for Chrome. So I think we have. I think we have six. Uh, we have Evernote Peak. So where are you going? Where, where, what is Evernote in ten years? Well, the goal is to um, um, redefine, kind of reimagine what it means to be a um, a tool for the modern knowledge worker. Um, we think that the old understanding of productivity software is kind of thirty years old. It's it's basically Office, and so that idea that productivity means you know word processor, spreadsheet, database, PowerPoint. Like that's weird. That doesn't take into account the past 30 years of, 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 um, of instant messaging, of Twitter, of Facebook, of, of smartphones, of tablets, of social groups. Like that idea was set 30 years ago, and I think it's time to refresh it. It's time to say, what are the essential tools for a modern person who has a, a very thin boundary between work and personal stuff, because it's all running together for all of us, what are the essential tools to actually feel like you're accomplishing something for actually getting something done? And that's what Evernote is. So what we want is we want if I have five minutes and I want a diversion, there's wonderful products that, that let me kill time for five minutes. There's you know, Angry Birds and Zynga and Facebook and Twitter, and those are fantastic as, a, as either a social tool or, or, or entertainment or diversion. We want to be the other side of that. If you have five minutes to spend but you want to accomplish something, that's what Evernote is. So we're, we, wanna, we, we are the new suite of software that actually lets you get something accomplished. For, yeah, for productivity. For, for productivity, yeah. For, for, the, for the modern information person. For the, for the information-rich life. This is amazing. Uh, Phil, we can meet you, right, at, uh, at the web? You yes, have... I'm here all day. In fact, I'm going to be doing a, uh, uh, an hour uh, session in more depth and doing a QA, and a and I'd love to talk to anyone That's who's interested. Afternoon? That's at noon. noon. Uh, yeah, so uh, you today can have one hour of Phil and his team at noon. Absolutely. Just, that's just upstairs in our workshop. And then we have a developer uh, competition workshop at the web uh, all day today and tomorrow. Oh, because you have apps. Yeah, yeah, we have over the trunk, right? We have about nine thousand third-party developers, and so they've done some amazing a platform stuff. Since last year, we did. We didn't want to talk about it because we wanted other people to say that we were a platform before we announced it I ourselves. It. So thank you. Nine thousand apps. I think you are a platform. Oh, awesome. So you, you guys should really check how you can integrate with Evernote because then you get into this growth curve we feel, and uh, and that's very impressive. Yep. And we promote all of our partner apps to our to our twenty million plus users, and uh, so it is a it is a good way to to get your first. Uh, to get your first bump. You should do the Evernote Fund, where you invest in those guys too. 
Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Thank you so much, Phil. That was Thanks, great. Louis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Phil. Thank you.